Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What information is included in Wisconsin voter records? In Wisconsin, the voter registration list maintained by the Wisconsin Election Commission, WEC, contains a variety of information about registered voters. Here's a breakdown of what you can find. Name and address. Each registered voter's name and address are included in the list. Date of birth. Although the date of birth is part of the voter's information, it is kept confidential and not made publicly available. Ward and Aldermanic District. The Ward and Aldermanic District of the Elector are recorded. Identification. The number of a valid operator's license or the last four digits of the elector's social security number are included, along with any identification serial number issued by WEC. Voting history. The list includes the date of any election in which the elector has voted. Overseas electors. Information indicating whether the elector is an overseas elector is also included. Felony conviction status. If an elector has been convicted of a felony, this information is recorded, along with the date when their voting rights will be restored. Registration method. The method by which the elector's registration form was received is noted. Proof of residence. Whether the elector was required to provide proof of residence and the type of document provided is documented. Absentee voting. The date on which the clerk mailed an absentee ballot and the date it was returned are recorded. Polling location. The polling location associated with the elector's address and ward, as well as the mailing address for the municipal clerk, are included. Confidential information. Certain information, such as the date of birth, is kept confidential and is only accessible to select government officials and specific entities for official purposes. Public Access Wisconsin's public records law allows members of the public to inspect these records unless a provision permits them to be kept confidential. This means that groups may use the publicly available information to contact individuals for various purposes. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.